Well, hello everybody. This is the first cooking video of the year and I told you a tea was coming back because we're going to step your game up for your boo or for yourself. So I want to tell you guys on today I made the pole bubble shrimp. Right here is the red fish or you can definitely use the red snapper with a nice butter puncher train sauce with crab meat and the shrimp. And right here is the loaded potato. So on today, y'all, we're going to cook hard in the kitchen. We're going hard in the paint for 2011. So let's go. Hi everyone and thanks for joining me on today. Let's get started with all the ingredients for the sauce. You would need butter. I'm using Lando Lakes. Paprika. I'm using heavy whipping cream. You can use any crab meat you like. I'm using chicken of the sea. Parsley flakes. And I love Zatarin's Creole mustard. And I'm gonna use a ground white pepper. So this is all the ingredients you're going to need for the sauce on tonight, and of course shrimp. Now let's season the fish. I'm going to be using both red fish and red snapper, but I do prefer red fish better. I'm going to apply some virgin olive oil to the fish. You don't believe me, check out my Euro look I'm in Conda with a wiggalicious birthday morning clips and hair introductions. You ain't seen virgin Indian hair until I show it to you. Yeah. Because of my skill at effigy, I have haters after me. <laughs> it's funny they want to tear me down, but sadly the block function keeps me happy. Bye. Yeah, in the kitchen, I rock with the sage and he's I'm going to apply some salt. A day of my age. Oh my and really just season to your own taste you can season this fish however you like now I'm gonna put some chopped garlic inside of the little slit of the fish talk about this and on top of that I host contest but back to this they crab potatoes and boiled shrimp did I tell you my now I'm gonna add some cayenne pepper for a little kick. And if you have some lemon, definitely you can apply this to the top of the fish as well. Now that's done. Next, you want to take some pan and foil spread really well and apply your fish on the foil please set your stove to 450 and you will bake the fish for 30 to 40 minutes there's nothing else more for me to really say so head over to youtube.com backslash a-t-e-y triple and you're going to do the same thing to the red snapper and I am the one and only Again, as I said, I enjoyed the redfish so much better. It was had more meat, it was meaty, and it was very good. And of course, red snapper is a little more expensive. So I was like, next time I'm just gonna stick with redfish. Again, you just repeat the steps. Add the salt, virgin oil, and cayenne pepper. And as well, you can add garlic. And you also spray pan. And apply the fish. And wrap it up really well to go in the oven. Now let's get started with the shrimp. Okay, everybody, the fish is almost done, so now I want to start with my shrimp. It's up to you if you want to fry your shrimp or if you want to grill your shrimp, but on today, as you know, I love fried shrimp. So I'm going to take the Poe Bubba's flour mix. As you know, this is six cups of self-rising flour, one cup of cornmeal, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of pepper. Put it in a bag. It will definitely last you, I think, up to four months. So I'm going to use this on my fried shrimp today, so let's get started. 
This is a pound of large shrimp, head on. This is an 18 count of large shrimp for one pound. It's like 5.49. After you devein the shrimp, it is ready to fry. So now let's season the shrimp. I'm gonna season this with salt and pepper. And if I want it, or if you want a little kick, add a little cayenne pepper. It's totally up to you. Now I'm gonna add a little flour of my po bubba's uh, fry mix. And let's fry the shrimp. As you know, I always fry in a fryer. Tonight I had to fry on top of the stove because I took my fryer to my cousin's. <laughs> so it is what it is. But it still came out great. So now the fish is ready. Let's see how it looks. So the fish is ready. Let's start with the sauce. We're gonna add the one and one half cup of uh, heavy cream. Add the butter. And let's add the Creole mustard. And we're gonna stir that really, really good. There's nothing else more for me to really say. So head over to youtube.com backslash A T E Y Triple A. Should get you looking right, ladies. And I am the one and only. Now let's add the rest of the ingredients. Yeah. Let's add the crab meat. And I'm gone. Go. And again, you could get a uh, claw meat. I definitely was looking for that. Just if you want a more chunkier look of your sauce, it's totally up to you. Or you could use the lump crab meat that I use in my crab dip. They're both are available at any store. Now add the paprika. The ground white pepper. And kosher salt. Now we're gonna mix that really well, and that paprika is gonna turn that white color to a, like a lightish orangey color. So now right here, I just cut up the shrimp I had left over, and I just applied it to the uh, to the sauce. And for a little kick, I just added two dashes of pepper. So now the fish is ready for the sauce to go on top. You can fix your baked potato however you like. Me, I love butter, sour cream, and chives on my baked potato. So now we're adding the sauce. And we're gonna add the parsley flakes. And here is your meal for tonight.
We're all done. Check out the ending of the video. Mm. Y'all know I was not gonna leave y'all without tasting it, huh? Y'all know how I go. People. This is just redfish. This redfish is so good. I honestly want to tell you guys that I like this better than red snapper. But this sauce is going to blow your mind. Mm, 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 mm. So you guys, thank you for joining me today on the first cooking video of the year. Definitely check out my Cooking With It To Your blog spot for more pictures and more videos. And I will see you next time. Thanks for joining me tonight. Mm. Yeah.